Aerospace firm ST Engineering is fast-tracking plans to put more converted freighters in the sky as airlines react to dwindling passenger numbers. It's just delivered the world's first converted Airbus A321, a popular workhorse that's expected to be the backbone of the cargo industry for years to come. Gwyneth Chiu with this exclusive. Stripping out seats and strengthening the fuselage or body of the plane. It takes ST Engineering three months to get an Airbus A321 like this ready to carry 90,000 kilograms of cargo. Now when this was a passenger plane, this was one of the doors that people could come in and out of. But now that this plane is having a second life as a freighter, this door will be covered up, leaving just this very large door that's been cut out and expanded to allow a unit of cargo to enter. Now that's just one of the things that have to be done to convert a plane like this from carrying passengers to only cargo. For airlines facing dark times, the global freight industry represents a glimmer of hope. Industry watchers say it's flying at full capacity with some 2,000 cargo planes in the air. And with demand for goods, including medical essentials, soaring around the world during COVID-19, there simply isn't enough of such planes. To help it along, ST Engineering is increasing its output from 9 to 25 A321 planes annually by 2023, a year ahead of schedule. And from performing the conversions only in Singapore and Europe, its existing facilities in the US and China will do so as well. Typically, uh, some of these passenger aircraft gets retired between 15 to 20 years. Uh, but uh, with COVID, uh, because the airlines did now realize that they have extra aircraft in the fleet, and, and they also have ordered new aircraft that is going to be delivered. Right, so as a result, some of the older aircraft may see earlier retirements of between 10 to 15 years. Uh, and that means uh, we could convert those aircraft to uh, freighter aircraft. This jet is among several planes requested by Valair, which leases freighters out to airlines. Clients have booked up its entire fleet of 10 planes. The Europe-based company is also getting twice as many inquiries now than before. It's now thinking of buying and converting planes even before firm interest. I see airlines uh, contemplating having a cargo business units. Uh, so a lot of my discussions are you know, around the economics, how many aircraft you should have in order to have certain yields, etc., etc. I'm not talking about a, a, a small uh, change of configuration inside the cabin. That is, again, a short-term effect. But I'm talking about real uh, conversion, which kind of going to change the nature of, of the asset from a, pass a passenger to a freighter. Valer says it's seeing carriers launch new routes just for freight. And until people can take to the skies again in large numbers, it believes interest in cargo planes will remain high for some time yet.